Enterprise applications gather and organize a sea of data that runs the organization. These applications revolve around dashboards. They are the gateway to all the data out there. When you dig deeper, you realize that what's more important than data in dashboards is information. This is what makes dashboards valuable. But here are six mistakes people make while designing a dashboard for an enterprise. Number one, getting the navigational models wrong. Getting the navigational designs right is tricky. Not many understand the approach behind it. They use a single menu to contain all the navigation, making the dashboard difficult to use. Instead, global navigation can be placed on top, which could include your tools, resources, profile, and logout. Dashboard navigation to the left, which includes your views, types of data, etc., and breadcrumbs can all include deeper drill downs within a content flow. Number two not matching the user's mental model. Users have a certain mental model of expecting and finding contents within a collapsed dashboard menu. So when you're categorizing these menus, if you don't align them with the user's mental model, you'll create an unusable product. Extensive user research must be done to categorize and name the submenus and sub-submenus within the main menu. You can use contextual inquiry and card sorting processes while designing usable navigation models. Number three, failing to match the right data visualizations for the data. Certain charts, plots, and graphs work better for comparison, whereas a few work better for plotting data points. If you do not fully understand data, you'll end up using the wrong visualizations and the data becomes difficult to interpret. So before choosing the visualization, have a concrete understanding of the type of message you're conveying through the data. Number four, static content on a dashboard serves no purpose. Dashboard has no place for static content. If a user knows what will be on the dashboard every day, then he'll have no need for the dashboard. On the other hand, dynamic content is what encourages repeat uses. And this dynamic content should be at the heart of the dashboard. They require attention, and therefore, your visual design should cater to highlighting dynamic content. Number five, Avoid excess padding and white spaces. Similar to how a static web page is done, many designers use excess padding and white spaces in dashboard designs. However, they miss the point that data is the key and it should be available with the least scroll. Spread out design creates inconvenience each time a function has to be performed. Global interactions such as sort, search, and filter should also be easily accessible. Compact design is the key point here. Number six, not designing for different user roles. When you don't understand the role and position of a particular user in an enterprise, it is a recipe for an unusable design. You need to understand the context and objectives of different users more than the data alone. You need to conduct extensive user research to better understand the underlying needs. Also, dashboard could have different views for different roles of users, and it is important to understand everyone's requirements to design better. That sums up most of the common mistakes. Make sure you stay away from these and build a clean dashboard.